creating a world where dragons can exist should be something that well, I would want to see, certainly. But it's a beautiful, hopeful love story at the at the same time. We have two separate worlds. In the past, we have boy and dragon girl. It's a young boy who meets a dragon and falls in love with her, and then she leaves and doesn't come back for seven years. And in the present, we have uh, a woman uh, and her husband. They're, she's married. She has a kid, and her old lover just shows up out of nowhere, and he's a dragon. And he had abandoned her 15 years previously and she had had to move on and forge a new life for herself and he's come back to sort of reclaim her and start things up again and she has a choice to make. The script is, is first of all amazing. Uh, Jenny Cannell wrote an incredible script. I see uh, elements in the lifestyle between man and woman that are things that I grew up around. Um, it's very Midwest and um, very down home sort of uh, atmosphere. So you can imagine what happens when a character like Dragon comes in in the middle of all that. It becomes a, a very interesting tension. Uh, gets built into the, uh, this otherwise uh, quiet home. It's kind of a modern myth. It's really like, to me, when I first read this script, I thought, wow, this is like a whole new, amazing modern take on a bizarre fairy tale. It talks about those types of questions that everybody's faced with, about that moment when you could go back and, and relive something that you always wanted to in the past, when you had to walk away from something that you weren't quite sure was the right decision, and then when the universe brings that back to your door and you get to decide again whether or not that's the path you want. There's also something, I think, sort of magical about dragons, that, you know, they, 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 they go to secret places and they have secret caves and they hide secret things and they have secret powers that you, you don't know. There's something, I think, eminently, uh, eminently old and wise about them, too. And uh, some are dangerous and some are uh, benevolent. We have Connor Hopkins designing our set, who is, uh, you probably know him as the artistic director of Trouble Puppet, but he's also a shrewd company member. We've got Patrick Anthony doing our lights. The Gun Brothers are doing our sound. We're also incorporating original compositions from Thielen Makeshka and uh, Lowell Bartholomew. We're incredibly lucky to have gotten him to do uh, video and projection design. Even though it's a play about dragons, it's, it's an essentially human story. And I think that in itself is is what makes it great. I think I, mean, I think we all have inner dragons. Um, I think we all have a, a fire that that people don't always necessarily see. Even the most sort of cool and laid back persons got that fire that's burning inside of them, and you just got to find that right like moment or instance or, or word or, or something, and then all of a sudden we'll see that dragon come roaring out of them. Oh, so you keep me warm. Till 